Howdy ho there, folks, and welcome to Girlfriend. Hi! <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Rachel. Do you want me to tell them, or do you want to tell them what we're doing today? Ah. <laughs> she was wanting to plan this for a while. Um, this is a thing she calls couples tag, where we weren't, we're being, our schedule's a little bit off because of Valentine's Day, like, she works. I have other things, and we just decided to do it for the weekend before or after Valentine's Day. Uh, but what couples tag is, can you explain a little bit? Yeah, it's just, um, especially where you guys don't really know me, this is pretty much my introduction to his channel. So it's basically, you know, you can learn more about us as a couple and individually. You know, and I just thought that it'd be something fun that we could look back on and, you know, that we can share with our friends and our family, and and I think it's going to be really fun. Most personal thing I think I've done, and I think the second time I've been on camera. <laughs> this, is, this is a present to me, so, so you're welcome to everybody who watches it, because he's doing all of this because I asked him to. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. What's, uh, what it is, like, you run through some questions, like, you know, you just learn a little bit more about us in general. Um, but let's get started. Okay, so I think what we'll do with some of them, that is, like, how did we meet and stuff like that, um, I'll ask the question, I'll be like, you can answer it, or you can say, I can answer it, you know, and then questions for, like, both of us, um, you know, individually, then we'll just both answer. So, how did we meet? Uh, we actually met through a mutual friend. Um, he's actually been on the channel. He was one that was uh, with me when I was playing Dead Space, RJ. Um, what happened was I actually met her while she was working, and he stopped in for gas or whatever, and he asked me, he's like, hey, you want to meet Rachel? And at that time, like, I was just tired. I'm like, eh. And he's like, ah, oh, come on, get your ass out of the car. So I went in and... There I was, looking all cute. <laughs> working, and, you know, like we just met, and it, it didn't really kick off at that point, but uh, secretly did we both know to the both of us, we thought each other were really cute. And she still tells me to this day I have a nice butt. <laughs> I do, all the time. <laughs> okay, so where was our first date? That's kind of a tough one. Yeah, because um, I don't think we ever had, like, an actual first official date. No, we, like, we went out, but I, I think you like to say, like, our first official date... Date, date. <laughs> ...was when um, my work had a summer picnic at an amusement park nearby, and... No, no, no. That, that, it wasn't that. It was, um, we went and saw Spider-Man first. Oh, yeah, that was our first date, was when we went and saw Spider-Man. Well, that's what I said, like, I don't know, like, what, what could be clarified as a first date date. Yeah, but that happened first. Like, other than, like, because we went to, like, Burger King and stuff before that, but... I think uh, high society there. Yeah, I know, but it was so yummy. But I think that, um... Gave you a crown. <laughs> he did, and I still have it, and I made him a picture frame, like, I got him a picture frame with a picture in it, and... I used the crown as the border, and it was so sweet. Like, I almost cried when I gave it to him because it was just so sentimental. Because he looked at it, he was like, <gasps> Like, he knew, and I didn't know he was going to catch it at first. You know, that that was what that was from, because I kept it. Oh, no, I caught it right away. And you said you hated superhero movies. I do. And Unless it's Spawn or Hellboy, I'm just like, or Batman. Spawn, and Hellboy, and Batman, and Deadpool. Uh, everything else is just kind of like... And then I showed her one trailer of Spider-Man Homecoming, and she was just as excited as me. It, it was good. It, it was, was good. fantastic. It, it had, was amazing, but, um, in fact. I liked it that it had uh, Robert Downey Jr., is that his name? Yeah, Tony Stark. Yeah, like the guy that plays Iron Man. Like, I liked that he was in a lot, because I, I like Iron Man. Like, he, the way he plays that character, he makes it really funny, which I like. Also, I'm sorry, too, if there's a little bit of rumble for you guys. We're, um, we're on my bed. <laughs> this very nice big bed that I'm jealous of every day. <laughs> I have a tiny bed. <laughs> what was your first impression? What was our first impression of each other? I mean, as simple as I can say it, she looked cute. <laughs> I thought he was a big dork, but in the best way possible. 
I, I, I like guys that are a little nerdy and sweet, you know. I'm I'm not as into like the bad boy type and I I just thought he was adorable and he was just so kind. That was another thing. Like people nowadays just aren't kind anymore and he really was. And I I needed somebody like that in my life. I really I really, really did. When did you meet the family? Uh you met my family actually. Um, I was taking you to work. No, you were on a lunch break, I believe. Yeah, and, and I met his mom. Yeah, mom was actually going to see a movie. Um, I don't really talk about my mom a lot, but she was wanting to go see a movie. And I felt kind of bad because I was like, I was taking her out to lunch at the time. <laughs> and I was late. By five and then, minutes. And then um, I've, I met his dad and his brother um, from them just like dropping him off and stuff, you know. So I, I met them and stuff. And that was pretty nice. I love your mom. And your family, I've actually been able to meet in... On, on, on video on face, chat. Uh, yeah, on, on Skyping um, kind of thing. All, um, all of my family lives really far away, so that was basically the only way that we could make it work. But eventually, um, I plan on taking him to go visit them, and I think that'd be really cool. We're going to go to his science museum, hopefully. Oh, the science museum looks amazing. <laughs> what are our weird obsessions? This one's going to be funny because mine are hilarious. Go ahead and tell them what mine are. Oh, I thought you were going to have me tell mine. Piercings. <laughs> Piercings. <laughs> this lovely job I did for her. <laughs> Not the curling. I, I can't do that. I never got that far with my previous girlfriends. <laughs> um, besides that, um, I'm looking at the poster now. Uh, she is really into music. That's not really weird, um, but the kind of music it is, she is heavily <laughs> into death metal. Yeah, kind of. I mean, if, I, I don't really know what, like, Whitechapel and Chelsea Grin would qualify as, but those are my favorite, like, metal bands. I just say metal bands. Um, but I also like pop punk and a bunch of other stuff, too. And shit that I'm terrified about. But about. what is, what are the creepy crawlies that I like? That's what I was just about to get at. Spiders. Snakes. Not just spiders, tarantulas. Snakes. Scary. Okay. What is the, the number one stuffed animals I have all over my room? Unicorns. I love unicorns. I got her a unicorn. Yes. I, and I don't really know what your weird obsessions are. Like, he, you don't really have weird obsessions. Like, he's obsessed with games, obviously. I mean, look at his channel. Like... Oh, and I and I lied. I I did appear on his channel once. I called him while he was filming, and and I thought he was just gonna cut it out. I was like, oh, okay. Are you just gonna cut this part out? And he's like, no. And he ended the video. And then a couple days later, I um. He said you were gonna smack. Me. <laughs> I, and I did. But maybe he'll link it below just in case anyone's curious. And then you know you can watch it or just fast forward to the end. And you can hear me talking in it. How long have we been together? We have been together, let's see, like officially or since we were actually uh, Officially. Because we were talking just a few weeks before we actually like officially started dating. See, I have a weird habit of uh, starting to date people on holidays. Fourth of July. Yep. And that would be eight months ago. And, but we knew we knew each other for what? Like, we've known each other for a little bit over a year. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it's been a little bit over a year since we met, but we were just kind of like friend acquaintances before that. Do you have any traditions? What are our traditions? Uh, movies? Yeah, watching movies in bed. I guess like trading music, because we tend to listen to quite a bit of music. Or we'll just, um, one thing I noticed that we do a lot is we'll just sit and watch YouTube. Like, he'll watch his stuff and then I'll watch my stuff, but we'll still like be sitting. But I think the main thing is like... When he comes over, like, we'll just sit and watch watch movies, and that's just, like, a habit. I don't know if that qualifies as a tradition, but, well, like... Yeah, it's kind of the go-to thing we do. When we, like, when we have nights like this where we spend a lot... We, we get to spend a lot of time together, like, days off and stuff, that's what we're doing. What was our first road trip? Was going to Sonic count? Because that was yes. pretty far out of the way. Yeah, it does. That's what I was thinking. And that was the first time I went to a Sonic yeah, we went, there was, um, because where I'm from, there's a ton of Sonics, and there's only one, and it's about, what, 20 minutes? 20 about 15 30? minutes. It's, it's near to our big mall we have. And that's far for us, so, um, 
he took me because he made me upset, so I made him take me. And it was yummy, and I wasn't upset after that. It was delicious. So what was the first thing we noticed about each other? Um, the beard. Oh god, the beard. I love my beard. I know you love your beard, but I was just like, he has a really crazy beard. I would say, and she's probably going to hate me for this, um, her nose. Oh. It's nothing bad. It's just... I hate my nose. It's crooked, <laughs> and honestly, until she told me why it was, I honestly thought she had like an Albus Dumbledore thing going on, that it was broken it's twice. Just the, no, it's just the way my nose is. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just... There's that. What is what is our favorite restaurant? I think our favorite one to go to together is um, like we have a Mexican restaurant that's really close. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's probably my my favorite too. Is that your personal favorite? Uh, my personal favorite, even though we've only been I think twice, uh, it's a restaurant called Cookout. It's mostly on the Eastern Coast, uh, oh, but it so is good. delicious. So good. Their shakes are amazing. Mm hmm They're very good. They'll put, like, literally anything in it. Like, I'm pretty sure if you asked them to put cat food in it, they would. Probably. I'm just kidding. They would not do that. You want a, spoon, <laughs> you want a, scoop, uh, a spoonful of uh, Jiffy peanut butter? <laughs> You're done. Okay, what do we argue about the most? Stupid stuff. Typically. Just, yeah, just stupid. Like, little stuff. Like, stuff that doesn't really matter. Um, it's like most of like we just talk about like you talk about like the stuff I watch typically like it's my entertainment and I do the same for you but well I don't like if I, I can stand okay if I don't like a show or something that he likes sitting and watching like one or two episodes but I hate it when I don't want to watch something all the time because I'm not a big fan of it and then someone tries to make me binge watch it like one of my exes made me sit and watch all the aliens the alien movies, and I'm not trying to offend anybody that likes the alien movies, but they're just not my favorite. That offends. <laughs> I'm more of like a Hellraiser, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Ch uh, Chucky type Recently of person. Recently Chucky. Recently Chucky. That's another story for another day. But those are the type of horror movies I like. I just wasn't a big fan of Alien. I don't know if it's like the science fiction, even though I like Star Wars and stuff. I don't, I don't know. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Currently, right now, none of us, because we're not wearing pants. I got jump pants on. You know what that means. I wear the pants in the relationship. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. He's lying. I wear the pants in the relationship. If the boot fits. <laughs> if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? So, if I'm watching something, what would it be? Dr. Phil. <laughs> I watch it on YouTube sometimes, and it's just clips. Recently, I've noticed Dr. Phil has gotten really fucking serious. It's, it's just not as good as it used to be. Like, ever since, like, that catch me outside, how about that? I just, I can't. I can't. With you, I don't know, maybe Dragon Ball Z? I know you, you like Dragon Ball Z a lot. I, I've never I actually used to watch it a lot more when I was a kid. Oh, no, I lied. Dexter. Dexter. He recently got obsessed with it, and I think it's funny. And I also like American Horror Story. Um, well, I've watched bits and pieces of most of them, but the one season I like is Freak Show. So, which, ugh, that season was just amazing. Like, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Andy. What is, what, what is, like, our favorite food? Oh, no, what's one food we don't like, sorry? Stuffing. I, I can't stomach it. Oh, I love stuffing. Um. I love it for the both of us. That's really hard for me. I can't do Hamburger Helper. I can't. I won't eat it. I ate it for like seven years straight. I won't eat Hamburger Helper. Helper, And I'm not a picky eater. Like, I'll try just about anything. I won't eat it. So gross. What drink do I order when we go out to eat? You order a tea. I love tea. He loves, loves tea. What do I order? Typically Pepsi. No, I don't order Pepsi. I thought you did. No, I order Coke. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. What are what is our shoe sizes? Mine is uh, like eight and a half, nine, I think, just depending on the shoe. What's your shoe size? Eleven. Eleven. You know what they say about guys with big shoes? They got big feet. What is my favorite kind of sandwich? What's your favorite kind of sandwich? My favorite kind of sandwich. Uh, are we talking about like to order, or are we like are we going by like restaurant bases like Subway? So I can name that off right away. 
Just your just your favorite kind overall. It could be something from Subway. It could be something else. I like Philly cheesesteak personally. Um, probably like typically like a bacon and cheese burger. But if we're going like the Subway route, a uh, sweet onion chicken, delicious. It is really the sweet onion or the sweet onion chicken teriyaki is really good. What um what are our talents? Um, acting for me, because I took acting a lot in high school. Um, I mean, basic video games, um, really good creatively, I mean, I can draw, I don't really do that as much as I used to, um, and just overall being a silly bitch. <laughs> um, well, I don't really call it as a, a talent. I played French horn for six years, but, um... <laughs> I think I was more mediocre at it. Like, I'm mediocre at things. Um, like, I'm not good, but I'm not bad. Um, like, I like singing, and I don't think I'm horrible at singing, but I'm not good either. Like, I guess that's my talent, is I'm just mediocre at everything. <laughs> what would you eat every day if you could? Spaghetti salad. My mom's homemade spaghetti salad, which she has a rendition of just called pasta salad, but... That's what it normally is, is pasta salad. But that's just how your mom makes it. Oh, she makes it heavenly. You do too, but... Mm -hmm. Mom's it's old fashioned cooking. Chips and queso and salsa, probably. That's my favorite. Other like, that's half the reason why I go to the Mexican restaurants, is just because of the salsa. Their queso, queso. Though, is very good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We're so, like, us both, like, we, um, we're fat kids at heart. I'm a foodie. Yes! Like, for Valentine's Day, I got him a huge bag of, um, nothing but, like, candy, and you should have seen his eyes. Like, it was hilarious. Well, especially, too, there's a giant Reese heart, and yes. I love Reese. Yeah, that's why I got it for you, because I knew you like Reese. What is, what is your favorite type of cereal? Reese's Puffs. Of course. Mine's a tie. I like, um, uh, what is it? Um, Lucky Charms and, um, Cocoa Puffs. They're after me, Lucky Charms. But I haven't had either in a really long time, which kind of sucks. Like, I tried to get the generic, um, Cocoa Puffs, and it just wasn't the same. It just tasted so gross. I hated it. What is, what is your favorite kind of music? Metal and pop punk. <laughs> um, rock, mostly. Classic rock and some punk. That's one thing too we have in common as well as vaping. Do you want to see my beautiful vape that I got today? Oh, my battery's getting low. And I got him a matching one. Stormtrooper. It's so so nice, so nice. I try not to do it on camera though, because the noise it makes. <laughs> I give no fucks. Typically. Okay, what are our, our what are our eye col colors? I can't talk. What's our eye color? Well, typically hazel. Mine are green. Yeah, his are hazel, but you have a you have a lot of brown in them too. Yep. I just say they're brown. Who are our best friends? Uh, my friend Hunter, who we play a little bit. Of, I play a le little bit of UFC with. Um. RJ, of course, in the Dead Space stuff. And this old Michael. Except Michael's typically the Brian in the relationship, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to think. My kid. My kid's my best friend. That's all I need is my kid. What is something that we wish that that each other do that we wish that you didn't? Like, what's something I do that you wish I didn't? Ah, I really can't place anything off the top of my head. It'll probably come later, but... Yeah. Like, she does that one thing! That one thing that you'll never guess. Click to find out. There is one thing that he does that gets on my last nerve, but it's really small. When we text, because we'll text back and forth like all day, he'll send me like just emojis, or I'll, I'll be like, you know, hey, I'm going to go do this, and he goes, oh, question mark, and I'm like, yes, I told you, it's... You don't have to ask a question. I shouldn't have to elaborate. See, I don't overload, though, with the emojis. Yes, you do! I use one It'll or be like, two. Kissy face, smiley face, kissy face, oh, question mark. And I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to have a conversation with you. Two compared to however many other cancers once people No, it might use. be two at a time, but it's all day long. Kissy face, 
Kissy face. I'm gonna Kissy be a twumble. <laughs> well, where are we from? East Coast. I am from, um, what, um, Southwest. What kind of cake would we bake each other on our birthdays? Probably an ice cream cake for her. Mm-hmm. You hit that one right on the head. And I would do the same for you. Because ice cream cakes, you can't beat that. Mm -hmm. You can't. Even bad ice cream cakes, fast. Like, what, what's what's going to be wrong with that? You still got ice cream. Just, just, you know, you don't even have to have any cake in it. Just get, like, a bunch of those ice cream bars and, like, put some whipped cream and some, like, chocolate syrup on it. And, like, you're done. You know, when I still think of ice cream cakes, I remember those infomercials about the round ice cream cake thing that looked like a soccer ball or a baseball. <laughs> As seen on TV. Do we play sports? No. I did marching band. That's about as far as I got with sports. Oh, well, I lied. When I was in middle school, I played um, volleyball for a little bit. But I really didn't like it because I, I kept getting hit in the face. Theater was my sport. What could we spend hours doing? Movies. 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 Definitely movies. I know what I could be doing, too. Video games. Yes, video games and YouTube. We are a big fan of YouTube in this house. If I could live anywhere, what would it be? What would it be? Mm -hmm. Or where? I'm sorry. If we could live anywhere, where would it be? I mean, if we're talking intercontinental, probably Italy because of the, the skyline, everywhere you can go. But if we're talking about strictly in the U.S., probably Seattle area. Washington State. I think if it was outside of the U.S., um, I would go to the UK, probably Belfast. The only thing I don't like is the houses there are really small. And I don't like, like, small spaces because I don't like clutter. And I have a lot of crap. So, like, that's the only thing I've noticed. Like, with YouTubers I like and stuff, like, their houses are really small. They're really nice, though, from, you know, the houses I've seen and stuff. They're cozy. What uh, Harry Potter houses are we in? We're in the same house. Honey Badger, the Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff bitches! Hufflepuff represent! Who disappeared like after the third or fourth movie. I love being a Hufflepuff. Okay, I, I love I, I love it. I love it so much. If we won the lottery, if one of us won the lottery, what would we do first? What would you do first? I don't know, normally my first option goes to investment, but I probably would do that after my primal needs are taken care of. Like, uh, House, housing. Bar. Yeah, V like transport, that kind of thing. But besides that, probably save it back and invest in smart things. I think what I would do first is buy a house. Um or no, what I do first is quit my job. Then I'd buy a house. Um or try to, you know, go in the process, start doing the process of buying a house. Um take my kid to Disney. Disney World. Disney. Disney and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, and then I would go see my family. Those are the things that I would want to do most. Hmm. What is uh, your favorite movie? Oh, don't ask me that question. Well, you can even do it by genres. Like, what's your favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie would need to be... Mine is Trick or Treat. That's a very good one. That's a very good movie. If you've not seen it, go see that movie. It is amazing. I have a little replica Sam doll. It's Sam doll, and he is so cute. Probably mine would need to be one of the Friday the Thirteenth or Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Mm -hmm. I would say like one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies, the second one, when he does the possession of Jesse. That shit is awesome. I think yours would probably be Friday the 13th, because he talks about that one a little bit more, that I've noticed anyway. I grew up watching those movies, what can I say? Okay, what are you most afraid of? Spiders. Spiders? Sp spiders. Go on. Um, I'm most afraid of losing stability. Not being able to take care of me and, you know, uh, Pay for every everyday things, you know, all that stuff. Because that can get like really, really terrifying. I mean, of course, like death is scary. 
Um, but I think it's more scary just because it's unknown. Like, you know, you never, you know, you can think all you want of what you believe is going to happen when you die, but, um, God, this got so heavy. But, uh, you know, you could think whatever, you know, is going to happen to you when you die, but we don't know for sure. You know, what, uh, what do we love most about each other? This is probably my favorite question. What do I love the most about you? <laughs> Be careful, don't want to get in trouble. Hell, I'm, I'm describing <laughs> something that I love about it. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. I would say... The caringness. Because I care so much. Well, not only that, um... Like, from, like, a big standpoint, like, my, my relationships haven't exactly been the best all around, regardless. And, and also as well, the, the randomness of how it happened, because if, it's kind of like the butterfly effect, or whatever you call it, like, you do, like, you judder a lot, the whole thing. Sorry. That's why I you can cut that part out. Yeah, that's why I recommend it's, like, the late. <laughs> Like it jostles everything, but like it, it kind of comes back to the butterfly effect. Like I said, like if I hadn't said yes to like yeah, it's like let's pop into the store there, I would not have met her, or I probably would have, and it probably would not have worked out as well as it did. Yeah, but like the circumstances of when we got together was so crazy, um, because uh, I was going through a difficult time. Um, and he didn't know, um, you know, if I was single or, um, it was just a really, um, kind of weird situation. Um, so he didn't know where that stood. And so, and then, you know, I heard that he was kind of talking to someone and I was like, well, I'm not going to, you know, interfere with him being happy by coming out and being like, oh, well, I like you, you know. This is where the motion motion stuff gets yeah. us get to the point. So, um... So, you know, I didn't say anything. So we both kind of liked each other from afar. And then um, he came and saw me one day. That him and RJ had come and seen me one day. And I was determined to get his phone number. Even if it ended up being nothing. I was just like, I'm going to get his phone number. Because I really like him. And I did. And I think it was like two days later I actually texted him. And it was just everything fell into place. And the whole, even now, I'm like, it's so strange how, um, that all happened. Yeah. It really is. Did we ever really hear about that shit, or whatever you do, it doesn't really last that long. Yeah, and, and we're, like, best friends, too. Like, we, yeah. yes. We get along so well, um, and it's, I think that's important to be best friends with the person that you're with, and also make sure that they want all the same things that you do. You know, because I'm a lot to take on. You know, my life is pretty complicated, and it can be really stressful, and, you know, he's really patient and, and understanding. And I think that's what I love about him the most, is I needed a very specific person because of things that I went through, um, uh, and there's a lot of things that he's helped me overcome, and I was just in a really dark place, and he really helped pull me through it. And I love him a lot for that. So, guys, that was... You said it was called Couples Tag? Yeah, the Couples Tag! Alright, so, like, yeah, you learned a little bit about between the both of us. Um, it was nice to meet you all. It was a nice little Valentine's Day thing. I don't know if we'll really do much of this again, unless, like, it's a Valentine or even a Christmas thing. We could do a Christmas opening. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure occasionally I'll pop in and say hi. I think it would be cool. You know, not a lot, but you know, just every once in a while, pop in and and make videos. I think that'd be fun to add to his channel, just something a little bit different. Break from break from video games. I like I don't <laughs> But video games. I know, I know. Anyways guys, that will be it for today. Uh, I did wanna thank my lovely girlfriend wanting to do this. Uh Again, mostly her idea, and I was like, sure, why not? But I do want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, or you want to talk about anything, always let us know down in the comment section below. 
Uh, we look forward to reading anything that we do get. But we hope each and every one of you had a great, fantastic day. If you didn't have a happy Valentine, you know what? Be our Valentine. Yeah, we'll be your Valentine. We'll We're not spread shy. the love. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, uh, we will see you all in the next one. Maybe, maybe he'll let me talk. Uh, he'll let me um, convince him to to give me a big smooch. Maybe next time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, take it easy. Bye.